An editorial from the Improvement Era, February 1939. Editor, John A. Widso. Loyalty, what it is and what it is not. The world is calling for loyal men. They alone can solve humanity's problems. Loyalty follows acceptance of a worthy cause, one founded in truth and which includes the unchanging ideals that survive mortal life. Allegiance to an unworthy cause cannot properly be called loyalty. Support of a thief or a liar, however vigorous, is the negative of loyalty. Loyalty accepts all virtues, all truth, and rejects all evil, all untruth. Loyalty is the best measure of the fitness of man or nation to serve mankind or to survive. Such loyalty is born of man's intelligence and reason. It represents his soul's striving, his inner convictions, his highest ideals, the best in him. Mere adherence to a party or church is not loyalty. It is full selfless allegiance on the basis of worthiness to a man, a principle, a cause, or a standard of life. It represents a man's inward nobility. Loyalty transcends emotion. Therefore, it is continuous, sustained, and independent. It is practiced on weekdays as on Sundays. It is not diminished at election time, refuses to be swayed by the shouting crowd, and yields not to the blandishments of the self-seeker. It is as a steady light which does not flicker and burn out. It is trustworthy. Loyalty manifests itself in the everyday deeds of men. It is essentially practical. The loyal man, whatever his place, does his appointed task without jealousy of others. He strives to perform every task to the satisfaction of all concerned. He works for his employers with a will. He does his work in the hour thereof. Today's need becomes a command upon the loyal man. A cause to command loyalty must be larger than the interests of oneself. It must include the welfare of others. Loyalty places social welfare before personal desire. The widow and the fatherless become the concern of the loyal man. He who loses his life in the cause of others shall find it. The life task of the loyal man is to realize the high ideals of the cause to which he is committed, for loyalty must be active. He surrenders to the cause, accepts it wholeheartedly, is devoted to it, lives it, and works for it. He strives to conform to every requirement of the cause. He does not quibble about the obligations placed upon him. He does his required daily work with joy. He is faithful to the whole cause, not merely to parts of it. The highest ideals, every good thing, the fullness of truth are embodied in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Church of Christ, earthly custodian of the gospel, is the best cause on earth, for it encompasses every other good cause to which men may give their loyalty. He who is truly loyal to the Church of Christ is loyal to all worthy movements. No cause can safely be placed before that of the Church. That has been forgotten too often to the world's sorrow. Real loyalty shows itself best in the support of officers within the church, of the bishop and other ward officers, of the stake president and his associates, of President Grant and the corps of general authorities, within the state and nation of all who are duly commissioned to act, within the family of husband, wife, and children. The loyal man prefers to idealize his officers. He knows that thus to support them is to bless himself. He does not find fault, nor does he delay his good works. He knows that in the church of Christ there is rotation in office, and that he may someday be called to service, then he may claim from others the loyalty that he gave and gives his superiors in office. The effects of loyalty are soon evident. The cause is advanced. Strength and power are given it. Lives are linked into common action. Society is unified. The loyal man whose life is bound up with the eternal cause of God enters the house of truth and finds his way to success and joy, both in temporal and spiritual fields. He grows in power throughout his life. Like Moses, he may, as it were, see God face to face. An increasing loyal devotion to the Lord through his church, to our fellow men of of every nation, to the inspired foundations of the land in which we live, and to the honest daily toil imposed upon every man, yet may convert swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks. The objective of loyalty is peace, not war, truth, not untruth, in the hearts of men and among nations. Latter-day Saints, commissioned with the truth and authority of the gospel, should and must lead the world in true loyalty. John A. Winsow, Editor, The Improvement Era. February 1939.